Jesus. Uh, anyway, welcome to episode four of Grave Mistakes in Cinema. This week, we decide to do a movie you might know as Street Trash. Street Trash. Fun Street for trash. the whole family. Please watch, <laughs> have your kids watch have this your, movie. Have your children watch Street Trash. It will teach them. It will teach them of the world and its true horrors and (laughs) ugliness. More rape per cinematic minute than any other movie combined. Oh, yeah. 1987, baby. Director James M. Murrow. Writer Roy Frumkes. Frumkes? Yeah, it's F-R-U-M-K-E-S. Frumkes. Frumkes. I think it's Frumps. Frumps. Frumkes. 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 Uh, Not silly, important. Yeah, silly German name. Winner of Brussels International Fantasy Film of 1987. Prestigious. I, can't <laughs> I can't believe it won an award. <laughs> a prestigious one. Let me run down the quick synopsis real quick. Uh, so when a liquor store owner finds a case of Viper in his cellar, he decides to sell it to the local hobos at $1 a bottle. Unaware of its true properties, the drink causes its consumers to melt very messily. Two homeless Does it lads. Say very messily? <laughs> yeah, comma, Can you melt? very messily. <laughs> Can you melt like cleanly? I don't think so. Oh, I just melted perfectly into my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Two homeless lads find themselves up against the effects of the toxic brew as well as going head to head with. Bronson, a Vietnam Vietnam vet with sociopathic <laughs> tendencies and the owner of the junkyard they live in. He didn't even fucking own the junkyard. No, he was he just like the Lord ju- Bum sitting yeah, on his throne. None of none of that is the actual Paul of the movie. <laughs> nah, not at all. <laughs> <None> <laughs> fucking of, ridiculous. Dude, this, oh, the this trailer, is ripped off IMDb. Like, how the fuck? They the just let trailer, anyone write that shit. The trailer that we saw was like, Zombies, homeless people, Viper, Mad Dog 2020, turns your tongue blue? Yeah, it straight up looked like a movie where this guy just hates homeless people and decides to poison them all. I actually think there's a part from the trailer, he's like, I hate the homeless. And then all of a sudden it just shows him like, wasn't there a part with you like concocting like some shit? That's what I remember, dude. I like remember Which brew he was fucking stirring up. Oh, oh, time to get that old case of Viper I have that melts the homeless. Yeah. He just, like, walks in, like, tears off a random fucking wall panel, yeah, and there's like, a big old crate of... Yeah. Also, if something dude. is in a crate that has to be nailed shut, and it's like a Vietnam-era fucking ammunition crate, you probably shouldn't drink it. No, or sell it to the homeless. No, you should sell it to a museum. Yeah. It belongs in a museum. Also, like, a dollar a bottle in the 80s would have still been pretty pricey. <laughs> yeah. 80s money wasn't worth worth a whole lot. (laughs) Right, which leads me to the budget of this film, which was $500,000. That's that's actually very little for how... That would explain the special effects. Right. Special effects were kick-ass, everybody. They were (laughs) fucking awesome. They were completely over the top. It was fucking insane. It's exactly what we wanted out of it. It It was was perfect. This is... (laughs) So sick. So beyond insane. Gotta love it. Yeah, dude. I mean, just the experiences I've had with homeless people, man. It's like, I understand why that uh, liquor store owner hated the homeless so much. Well, yeah, because they were dirty and they fucking didn't buy anything. They just kept stealing from them. And yeah, cussing them out, telling them to suck a dog's dick and all that shit. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact. This film says f- the word fuck 128 times throughout the the runtime. We actually counted. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lie. It is a lie. We don't have time to do that. Fun facts. <laughs> Google fun. them. C- Google your fun facts, everybody. Yeah, so uh, you want to dive into this bad Let, boy? Let's dive in. So it starts off... Uh, oh, by the way, there's not a single likable character in this entire movie. So we're, I'm going to use like protagonists very incredibly loosely. Here. I still like the kid, dude. He was a boss. He was getting some uh, cougar food. Oh, prune. dude, that was... Ah, dude, man. he, he He's took a, close... a leap. We'll, we will get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. That's a the huge... The balls on this kid. Yeah. Uh, you know what? The protagonist is that fucking bellhop kid. No. That bellhop kid, he is way too badass. Oh, yeah, he's sick. He's I thought so you meant fuck... uh, 
Freddie, my like the introductory bum, no, was no, the Freddy's... same actor. <laughs> I was like, "There's no fucking way." No, yeah, they're no. both white. <laughs> they, I guess, they kind of look similar. No, no, Freddie's the fucking worst. So anyway, yeah, oh, that trips me out, man. Because <sighs> they made you believe he was a protagonist in the beginning of the movie. He's all nice to everyone. Fucking slick shoe bum, just strutting around the streets. Turns out to be the biggest piece of shit of them all. The biggest piece of shit. All well, right. I guess the the clue is it, the movie starts off with him waking up in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. passed out in some trash cans by the liquor stout. <laughs> now that I'm looking back, there's a lot of signs that Freddy wasn't the uh, the hero of our dreams. He wasn't the hero we need right now. No, he was just so nice. But he 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 follows a liquor store owner into the store. Remember, he's like crouch walking behind that it. crazy crab walk right behind the owner. <laughs> yeah, and it's like the owner's like. Uh, either he's blind or he's just being really polite and like, nah, there's a bum behind me. But you know what? He thinks he's being clever. Well, he's not a polite guy. I doubt it. Yeah. Wasn't that the... Div- it, was a, it was a different fat guy. Oh, it was a different yeah. fat guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that guy was more polite. Yeah, but then he farts in his face and he's like, ah! <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was... It is. <laughs> I guess that's one way of getting found out when you're trying to sneak around. Like, yeah. no, if you're trying to break into some place and the guy farts in your face, don't be like, ah, shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> ah, come on. I'm trying to rob you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crawling down here. <laughs> so he jacks a, a small bottle of oh my God, he I forgot. even go for anything worthwhile. I forgot because of how much shitty stuff Freddy does throughout the movie that the beginning of this movie is a chase where he causes a car accident, almost gets crushed to death, and then steals from another bum. Yeah. No, the bum steals from him. No, no, he steals from a bum who stole from another bum. Oh, the money, yeah. Yeah, the he money. He stole Wiz's money, dude. He stole Wiz's money. The money he owed to Brown Saturn. <laughs> the big bad dude. dog in the junkyard. Yeah, interjection. It's great how he's just calling you like, I want my money! <laughs> Give me my three dollars! <laughs> it was literally three dollars. Yeah, again, so that's why I say like a dollar. Like, oh yeah, to us now it's like a dollar for booze. Hell yeah, I'll drink booze that makes me explode. <laughs> <laughs> but then Bronson's like killing people over three dollars. <laughs> so obviously three dollars is a lot of money. Dude, hell yeah, <laughs> apparently, man. That's crazy. <laughs> He's fucking all of his weapons made out of bones while he's got perfectly good metal daggers. Yeah, I got all these dumb, boring knives, but I'm a non fan. That ain't crazy enough for me. I need bone daggers. Yeah. I'm, one, I'm one of them creepers from the Jeepers Creepers movies. This movie's really sad. It, it totally like exploits war veterans. They're sick in the head. Yeah. They're homeless on the, the streets. The vast majority of Bronson's like crew is obviously mentally unwell. Yeah. So it, it is. This is next to Werewolf in a Woman's Prison. This is probably the classic the, first episode. Yeah. This is probably the worst fucking, the most horrible content we've seen so far. Oh yeah, no, this but, one just so much rape. Yeah. So much rape. We'll, we'll so much get to racism. that, everybody. Yes, yes. Trigger warning after we said it a bunch. There's a rape. And then the more. Real more life rape. rape is not funny, but street trash rape is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is off the hook. It was fucking insane. Yes. So let's move on. We we got past the opening scene. No, no, no. Because I have a note. Because that guy that's in the car accident keeps teleporting to catch up the Freddy. Oh yeah, that, that was like weird. Creepy white dude. Yeah, he's like, hey. where do you think you're going? And all of a sudden, like Freddy's like three city blocks down. The guy's like in front of him. All of a sudden, like I know where you were going. <laughs> yeah. Hobos always take this route when they're being pursued. Yeah. That was very strange. It was weird, but whatever. I don't quite remember how Freddy got out of that pickle. He jumped into a garbage truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. A building happened to be on fire. Yeah. He, <laughs> he walks in a, a room where a couple's, like, starting to bang. And he's just like, go on, get out of here! And he slaps the chick on the ass. Yeah, and he's, like, saving a bunch of people's lives, telling them the building's on but fire. But he's also robbing them, because he stole the dude's wallet and That's watch. That's true, that is true. <laughs> Freddy fucking sucks. <laughs> But he has redeeming qualities. He has zero redeeming qualities. He's so nice sometimes, barely. But yeah, when he's not raping. Yeah. That's, hey or man, don't give it away, dude. I, 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 okay, okay. No one knows who the rapist is yet. But, I already forgot. Spoiler, there's a lot. 
<laughs> you can throw a dart. Ninety percent of the cast. Just you can throw a dart at ninety percent of the cast. And be like that guy raped someone in this part. That guy raped somebody in this movie. That guy raped somebody. In this it's movie. true. They all band together. That, that lady statutory raped somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay. So, yeah. Running through the building on fire, you know, eventually gets away, has this little tiny bottle of booze that was so worth it. I know. Oh, yeah, I stole a fucking thing of Maker's Mark. Yeah. Jumps in the back of a fucking trash truck. Which shouldn't be compacting while it was moving anyway. That that was a little silly. Yeah, well, it started to close and start compacting. He's spilling his fucking tiny bottle of booze everywhere, and he gets out, and that's the opening scene. I actually stoked. <laughs> we were so stoked after that scene. I'm not going to lie. The entire time that I, I heard that fucking like Huey Lewis song, like the heat is on, <laughs> like that would have been the perfect song for that whole fucking bar because it was so silly. Oh uh, yeah, it would have been great. A few banana peel sound effects <laughs> slips. Uh, the no. heat is on. Yeah. So I think this is when they introduce King Lord Bum. Homeless. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they made the bums in New York seem like they're fucking Mad Max. They really do. I it, swear to God, like, he was going to be like, no, wait, we go, we kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's sitting on top of his throne with, like, some dirt woman on his Dude, lap just writhing. And fucking it was great because, like, she's, like, spread in his lap, like, dead looking. So it looks like that fucking Cain and Abel painting or, if you know, for the not art students, the fucking scene from Arkham City where the Joker is dead and Batman is just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's wearing some weird diaper. I, she is. She's, yeah, she's like head She is the cracking. worst. Which is funny because they make that whole comment about like, you don't want your brother to be one of them computer people. Computer people are junkies, not us like not like us noble street folks. <laughs> yeah. Robin. What does he even mean by computer people? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's from 86. It's like were, someone with a job? I guess. Yeah, I don't know, the robots you see running around. <laughs> <laughs> fucking junkies. Yeah. Anyone that's not homeless is a fucking junkie. It, <laughs> <laughs> it was very silly logic. <laughs> so, yeah, Lord Homeless, that is Bronson in the flesh. Master and commander. Just walk away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to die here today. Just give me my three dollars and walk away. <laughs> Dude, I really wanted him to be the humongous. I want him to be it so bad. He pretty much was. Just pretend he was. It Okay, fine. If I have, to, have to, if, if I have to voice him, he's going to be the humongous. Yes, okay. Seeing as it's a running thing on our podcast that I'll just do voices for people. Yeah. So he's the humongous from now on. <laughs> so, so. So you pretty much get an un- introduction to the bum community in this town. And uh, they're all terrible. They're all terrible. My, my <laughs> next note is just bums suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty accurate, too, because they do not shine a good light on the homeless in this film No, at all. God, no. It's like like a hate passion project on homeless people. This yeah, movie. like whoever made this movie is like, fuck the homeless. Yeah. Fuck. Like they heard that fucking like Tom Morello like arm the homeless. He's like fuck the homeless, fuck the homeless, fuck the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then after that, you there's a scene where there's some people driving down the street, and then a bunch of like bums Dude, it was like and like seven armor. bums. <laughs> yeah, they're like wearing armor, washing <laughs> windows in the street. They were looking for gasoline and Mel Gibson. <laughs> yeah, like like forcefully washing people's. Yeah, cars. that one guy was like, "Hold on, let me work up the breath to breathe on your windows." <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the dialogue from the people in the cars are just like, oh, get away from my car. Don't touch me. Oh, no, he's touching my car. I know. Like, the chick's freaking out, but the dude who obviously owned the car is like, babe, it's okay. I Girl. got this. Yeah. And then <laughs> Bronson comes up and he doesn't even say anything. It's like, hey, man. <laughs> well, I shot you- one of them machine guns that well, you shot in Nom. <laughs> Just assuming he's a vet. Well, first Bronson walks up and starts bullying their car a little bit. A little bit. He's like, like slamming it a little. Yeah. Shaking it. He's shaking. He's like, mm, just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> they you would have, too, if he wasn't standing in the fucking way. I know. You don't have to die here today. Just give me $3. <laughs> and he- walk away. <laughs> wow, he's really good at getting the $3. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <He's-> <laughs> It's the only payment he takes is in increments of three. (laughs) 
So yeah, what was he saying? He's like, oh, I shot an M14. Yeah, yeah he, he said gun model doesn't fucking exist. Uh. He's like, I shot an M296. Four five four two. It yeah. was fun. It was a lot of fun. fun. And then Bronze is just like, "Get out of the car! Get the fuck out of the car! You did not walk away!" And like slams <laughs> his head into the fucking which just kills him. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very fragile man. He what? Well, I mean, I, I mean that's, a, that's a really shitty thing to do. Anyways, talk to a fucking war vet about how fun it is to shoot the gun he just fought a war with. I guess, but I mean, he was. It wasn't so much. He was like, "Eh, don't touch me." The humongous, don't touch me. <laughs> like, yeah. the chick the whole time was like, he's touching our car. He's touching our car. Our property values are are just plummeting. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. who fucking cares if a bum touches your car? Bird yeah, shit on Yeah, she was him. disgusted by Bronson. Yeah, I'm she surprised was he wasn't just like, you there, bring me the woman. <laughs> I need a new dirt wench. <laughs> Do you like crack? I will show you crack. I will have you chase the farthest... Hardest dragon of all time. <laughs> Give me your gasoline and your women and walk away. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, when he's the humongous, he's way cooler. Yeah. He's so much cooler as the humongous. <laughs> I, I read, dude, that uh, this actor that played Bronson has never acted before, has never acted since, didn't know what the fuck he was doing the entire time. <laughs> it shows. Yeah. He had a blast, though. That's he good. He had a blast on set being a... Yeah, fake, go say fake actor. <laughs> being a fake actor, rapist, war vet, bum. Yeah, yeah so Nerd's face gets smashed in the windshield and he dies. Nerd's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, That's glasses it on. It was the 80s. He was a nerd. <laughs> I was trying to condense my notes, so I just put nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I would say yuppie, but I get what you're talking about. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he died before Impact. Yeah, <laughs> like his <laughs> fragile scroll was crushed. The velocity <laughs> from Bronson pushing him towards the windshield snapped his fucking neck. <laughs> half Kane Hodder, half the humongous. <laughs> uh, oh, so... <laughs> so my next note is, this is when the Viper is actually introduced. And the way, like, it's advertised, it's like a Viper's face over, like, the fucking, I don't know, like, the Bay of fucking the Statue of Liberty, like, Liberty Island and all that shit. And yeah, I, I don't remember getting that close of a look at the label. I, I pay very close attention to labeling in movies for some reason. Hmm. It's interesting. You They put a lot of detail in that You get into advertising. That's a go-nowhere business. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, what happened to Dodge Raper? Crazy. Most of his associates killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Made Man, Mad Man, where the fuck that show was called. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they were angry men. That's what it was called. Angry? Fur- furious dudes. <laughs> furious brosives. <laughs> 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 it took place in the rock in 90s. Oh, Dawn, you gotta get some sick ads for these Marlboro cigarettes. <laughs> so, this new liquor is introduced into the streets of. Whatever city this is. By the way, I don't think the, it even says. There, I know what this liquor is supposed to be. It's supposed to be Thunderbird. Why do you say that? Because it turned that one bum's tongue blue, and Thunderbird turns your tongue blue or black. And also, it has really high alcohol content, and a bunch of bums died <laughs> drinking it. Jesus Christ. Well, Based that on was true the story. only bum whose tongue turned blue. No one else did that. Well, because every other bum drank it. Like, before he even got done swallowing, like, oh, God, I'm exploding! <laughs> It's true. This shit works instantly. Yeah. The <laughs> like first, before you even swallow it, you're The exploding. first bomb this shit's drawn out, he's like, oh, I'm melting into my own feces. I haven't shit in months. <laughs> <laughs> he says that. Yes. <laughs> Not quite there yet. About to be. I know. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, what I was about to say, though, is, uh, yeah, so this new liquor gets introduced onto the streets of City X, whatever the, where it, the fuck It's like New live. York. It, yeah. It, it's just like half New, New York, York, half LA. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just say it's New York. <laughs> it's it's Detroit. This generous shop owner is charging one fucking dollar for this shit. But, of course, the bums still have to steal it. Yeah, again, oh. Freddy goes in there and fucking pockets it, even though he says he has the money, which is insane. God, I hate Freddy. He's such a dick. It's a fucking dollar. Like, yeah, one minute of panhandling will get you that. Exactly. Anyways, <laughs> my note for this part is there. just seriously, Viper is fucking rad. <laughs> Viper is fucking rad. I'd drink it. 
It's clean in the streets, dude. <laughs> clean in the streets. I still just like the heat is on. <laughs> There's people like <laughs> melting and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been the perfect fucking song for this movie. <laughs> Dude, I bet you if the shop owner knew what that shit did, he'd not be charging for it. He'd be giving it up for free. Oh, dude, he'd probably be like, here you go. I'll this- give you a dollar to drink this in front of me. Yeah. Now, of course I'm wearing pants. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Almost drowning your beer there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, Freddie, the fucking shit bum, who God, still he, at this point seems like a decent guy. Yeah, at this point, I mean, he, of course like, he's spent most of the movie at this point stealing. So it's like, eh, right. but he's a lovable scam. You do what you got to do. He's like Aladdin of New York. He's like a lovable Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, without Hitler mustache. Right. Yeah, that that works. Yeah, uh, he's a so, lovable guy. So yeah, he uh, he has his bottle of Viper, but I guess he's saving it for a special occasion in his jacket pocket. Yeah, it's really weird. He was like, "Haha, better go brag to all the other bums I have booze and get beat up." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Because old man Wiz, the, <laughs> the second shittiest of the bums, fucking walks up and like whoops his ass because he great. stole his three dollars. Well, he kind of deserved it though. He, he did. stole his three dollars. He stole his three dollars, but it was funny because like that's when um whatever. His name is Bert, the gas mask bum. Oh, the black dude? Yeah. Fuck. I think his name is Bert. I don't remember his name. They said it so few times. Yeah. Every character's name is only said like once or twice in this movie. Yeah. I, had I don't even know what the down cop's it. name is. Fuck. I, know I just the, put cop, dude. I know what the younger cop's name is because he's like, Billy? The cop? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so weird. Shit, dude. I never got his <laughs> name. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have it, though. Yeah, yeah I, I have it. Hang on. Okay. Uh, so young cop's name is Billy. Old cop's name is Bill the Cop. Oh, <laughs> I guess they're both Bill. <laughs> yeah, his his the actor's name is Bill Chappelle, and his role in this movie is Bill, Bill the Chappelle. Cop. No, Bill the Cop. <laughs> Bill <laughs> David Chappelle. As Bill the Cop. <laughs> That's good. Bill the cop is the f- Bill the cop's a fucking true hero. Oh, dude, he is so intense. <laughs> I feel like he's got like fifty fucking veins bulging out of his dude, face at all times. Any one moment, he's way too intense. Yeah, his expressions are insane. If you like, even annoy him a little, he's just fucking. He just beats the shit out of you, throws up on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, um, so yeah, good old whiz. Wiz, and it's great because, like, Bert's like, he he says some dumb shit about, like, stealing money, and then Freddy's like, hey, I'm too likable at this moment to even care. Oh, yeah, he was was talking about, man, you look way too comfortable. You're ruining your reputation. People aren't going to pity you anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's like, how could I look comfortable? I just got my fucking ass whooped. (laughs) Which was hilarious. By an old man named Wiz. (laughs) (laughs) That was that was actually after this part because remember he talks to Bert and then he leaves and Wiz is like, Pfft. and then he's like, what the fuck? And Wiz just jumps out, and beats the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's so insane. Why would you like announce your sneak attack with like a, <laughs> like is that? I guess that's Wiz with special forces. I guess that's <laughs> that's how our men in uniform do that shit. Like Navy SEALs about to shoot Osama bin Laden. Are like, yeah, hey, hey bin Laden. <laughs> And his cap up. <laughs> yeah, he's still wearing his war jacket and shit with all his medals on it. It's like, damn, dude. Poor, poor Wiz. <laughs> damn, we treated our Vietnam vets terribly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my <laughs> next note. Beating each other's ass for Viper. <laughs> for $3 in Viper. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That, there was the other poem that showed up before Bert did. That he was like, ah, I hadn't saw my kid. But that's when they're talking about, like, yeah, I want to be one of them computer guys. They're all junkies. He's all living in the house, and I'm living in the streets like a true free. I'm like, I'm like a fucking poet. I'm like fucking Jack Kerouac out here, having one arm and being sick all the time. All right, I'm gonna steal your booze, Freddy, drinking and melt into a toilet. Have a good one. Oh, yeah, that wasn't Wiz. Who the fuck was that? That was a guy who stole Freddy's booze and just drank it and melted into a toilet. Okay, so- <laughs> yeah. Also, side note, Viper apparently makes your insides different colors because that dude's melting blue and then, like, purple and then yellow and green. He's pretty much just melting the 80s. 
Like everything. It was it was one of the most eighties things I've ever seen. Yeah. It was insane. It was neon. It was pretty. Soundtrack was raging at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. right. The safety dance was playing while he was melting into a toilet. <laughs> it wasn't the safety dance. They changed the notes by like one pitch, so it would be legal. The old vanilla ice excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works, man. He got off with that shit. He did. So yeah, like one sip, one, one sip. Right, when touch, sip. <laughs> right when it touches your. Lips, I mean, just, like biologically, <laughs> the booze hasn't even like digested yet. <laughs> no, it, apparently it's, it's barely just fucking even acid. Taste buds. Yeah, he probably didn't even register what was going on. He's just like, oh, fuck, I'm having the craziest shit of my life. Yeah, it literally goes like you swig it back, and right when you put the bottle down, you're just like, ah! <laughs> it's insane. Well, e- is- each person's a little different. That one guy blew up like he was uh, fucking the, 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 the greedy rich chick from fucking Willy Wonka. Well, I think it's just because he was so fat, it had to like go yeah, through the system. They kept making longer. him fart. <laughs> Yeah, he farted the whole time. That's the only reason that Freddie went and looked. Yeah, Freddie didn't even give a shit. The guy's like screaming at Pay, like, it's just normal for a bum to have horrible health. And then and he a starts, big whomping fart. And like, he's like, Whoa, gust of wind. Farts? Oh, I better check this out. Farts? Uh, people farting in my face today. Uh, <laughs> this is one fucked up day. <laughs> farting at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Also, this is. Right about the time when young bum and old Asian lady show up. I I, I I never got her name. I never got his name. I was about to say, I don't remember them ever saying his brother's name. By the way, the young bum is Freddie's brother. He probably said it when he was talking about, like, you're a turd. I, my new life goal is to get you away from me. Oh, fucking Freddie. <laughs> but it, he probably said it then. Yeah. And I'm sure they said the... Uh, the cougar's name, probably in the junkyard office. Oh, it was when Wendy. She's getting raped. It was oh, one, Wendy. That's it. It was That's Wendy it. because it. I, I right, kept saying right. Wendy Woo, homecoming warrior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. My note for that is just romance bums because, I mean, even Wendy's still kind of dirty. Yeah. Well, I mean, with the introduction of Wendy, is that is the introduction of pedophilia in this film. <laughs> this is when this movie takes a dive for the weird. <laughs> Let's get a little crazy. Cause uh, she well, breaks into their weird igloo made out of tires and car parts. Yeah, <laughs> and she's making like cat sounds the entire time. She's like, and he's just like having some weird wet dream. Yeah, and she's like, oh, Wendy, hissing my hissing. And then she gets like right up on him, like puts her fucking mouth to his like chin, and it's just like. Yeah, and then barks like a dog. And then he freaks the fuck out. And he, she's like, what's up? Why are you so on edge? Having a nightmare? Like, not a crazy Asian lady just snuck into my fucking bed and barked at me. <laughs> I'm a little edgy from that. I, pro- I probably would have reacted the same way. I would react the same. I would have been probably just as hard as he was, but yeah. Yeah, so it, like, it, introduction, it introduces their relationship, which is kind of like, Oh, she cares for him. He's a runaway. He needs help. Blah, blah, blah. She takes fucking advantage. Oh, you'll fuck see. Yeah. You'll fucking see. Uh, and then you will know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they just have a little back back and forth. Like, oh, is this why you guys ended up here? Oh, you're runaways because you're, I don't know, your dad didn't fucking hug you enough and you'd rather be homeless. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we missed it. I I feel like they may have said something about that. It was something about their dad just not being there for them. And it was like, oh, boo fucking who? You're homeless The audio now. quality in this movie was terrible, dude. Yeah, it there felt was... like the volume was jumping from, like, mute to fucking Yeah, and it was just, like, two. fucking smudgy, blurry fucking audio. Yeah. Well, half of them had weird-ass accents, too. Yeah. It was strange. But so those two characters are very, very important. Don't forget. Don't forget, Wendy, Wendy and Wu, young bum. Homecoming Warrior, and Young Bum. <laughs> I w- dude, that would be sick if that was his name. Young Bum. <laughs> dude, that would be pretty sick. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, then we meet Wendy's boss who fucking sexually assaults her immediately. Immediately. Just he's, immediately. he's like the fattest, baldest piece of shit. Like, you could hear him breathing in the previous scene. Just wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, am I on? <laughs> am I on? What? You're not even on set yet. How the fuck can we hear this guy? He's just like, 
Wandy. Oh, you're my secretary, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all, all my notes is just Jabba the Hutt's a bitch. Because I even get his name. I just call him Jabba the Hutt. Oh, it's uh, Sch- Schnitzler. Oh, yeah. Sch- Schnitz- Schnitzler. Schnitzler. I think his first name's Frank or some shit. Schnitzler. <laughs> Schnitzler. Yeah. Yeah, he's. She's like, you always sexually assault me. He's like, hey, why would I sexually assault you, man? I just, I don't do anything to women that they don't want. Do hard to my heart, boy. They, they, they bring me Han <laughs> Solo and the sp- fucking Wookie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> As he spills out of his pants. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, he probably has a rancor somewhere in that fucking garbage yard. That dude is my least favorite character. Oh, uh, yeah, he's the fucking he's worst. Fucking disgusting. Oh, God. Uh, then, uh, Makes me sick. The next scene would be the one with the racist caricature of a Jewish bum going to the liquor <laughs> store to buy a fucking Viper. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Shabo. <laughs> I got it hard, man. I would bet it's all the good. money on the horses. And I, all you yeah. do is work in a store. You got it easy. The guy's working in store that ha- is constantly harassed by bums. <laughs> and the bum goes in there and straight up is like, you got it easy. Well, you don't know how easy you got it. Let me tell you how hard my life's been. I had everything. And then I gambled. <laughs> and that's it. And it's like, well, no shit. He even says, like, it was a long shot. Then why'd you take it? <laughs> he really didn't care about his wife or kids. Yeah, well, he makes it seem like he bet his wife and kids. Like, they died from it. Like He did say that. He's like, I bet my wife. I bet my kids. How? What country were you in? Was this during the war? Was it some kind of fucked up, like, concentration camp Russian roulette? Like, all right, the shots are really, really against me. It's one-to-one on this semi automatic Blow my wife's brains out. <laughs> you know what? I'm going all in. All in. But yeah, he's like, this is my wedding shoot. You, I got it hard. You got it easy with us harassing you every day. Get your shit and get out of my store. Get out of my store. Get your shit. Get out of my store. I got it so hard, man. Get your shit. Get out of my dude, store. Dude, you sound like Casey Affleck. <laughs> uh, all you had to fuck say was you. All you had to say was wicked retard. <laughs> wicked. I'm sure they said that a few times in this. I I uh, feel like they did. Yeah. So, <laughs> the liquor this liquor store owner is fed up. Yeah. He's so fed up. It sucks. I actually feel bad for him. I feel really bad for him, man. He's just trying to fucking run a business. Yeah, the only thing I could say negatively about him is that he did find some random liquor <laughs> in a wall panel and, and he's like to fuck sell it, it. Sell it to the homeless. They'll drink anything. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't just the homeless though. Remember Busboy ended up with a bottle. Yeah. He didn't drink. Yeah, that's that's different. That's skipping much ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, oh, God, great. So my note after old Jewish bum is racist caricature is slime time. <laughs> oh, slime time live. Well, it's that's when we're introduced to roid rage cop Bill. Oh, yeah, Bill the cop. Yeah, he's just like, hey, tell me what you know about the guy who's in the windshield. And the bomb's like, I got it so hard. You got it so easy. I got it so hard. I gamble. <laughs> and then Bill the cop's like. <sighs> <laughs> Freeze <up! laughs> this, this is pretty accurate, by the way. He's constantly like Krillin just got killed in front of him. It's fucking great. <laughs> he's, he's throbbing the entire time. <laughs> he's about to level up. <laughs> he's like. Yeah. When you find out more information, I'll be back. Please cooperate with the investigation. <laughs> Dude. Dude, yes. Bill the cop. Bill the cop. He's probably one of my favorite characters for sure. Oh, fuck. Just because he, he did his job so fucking well. Some might say he did it too well, and that was his ultimate demise. Oh, fuck, oh, that God. cracked me up with that one. So, yeah, no. racist uh, Jewish character bum finds his nice, uh, what was it, cabana? Oh, yeah, I got a private apartment where I bought with all my losing. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the cat. It's just a fire escape. A cat shows up. He's like, "Hey, there's pussy. Come here, pussy, pussy." And then like pussy. we look over and there's just a cat, and the cat's like, "Uh." <laughs> and he's like, "Whatever. I'm gonna drink this." And then like at the second he puts the bottle to his mouth, he's like, bah, blah, 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 blah. and he's just leaking <laughs> yellow everywhere. And it's great because they just focus on the cat, and the cat's just like really well trained. Cause it's like, huh? Oh. I still don't care. Yeah, I'm so fucking disinterested right now. Dude, I oh. love cats. I this is love- why I love cats, man. <laughs> I love cats. If too. I were to drink some fucked up shit and explode in my bedroom, my cat would do the same shit. Yeah, like, be like, really, Charlie? <laughs> You're really going to inconvenience. How am I going to get out of here now, Charlie? Guess I got to eat your corpse. Yeah. That's what we do. Dude, she won't even eat shit out of my hands, like let alone my body. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's great because he's yelling the entire time and there's people on the street and no one even fucking bothers to look no up. No one looks up once. Until except the one, one guy. One guy gets oozed in the fucking face. Yeah. And then he be- walks right under the fire escape, looks up and just gets slime time live. <laughs> he won the Kids' Choice Awards for <laughs> dumbest face. Yeah. <laughs> So he runs back to the roid cop and he just collapses. The roid cop's just like, what's going on? Why is this face melting? And then the, the, the chick that's with him is like, I want, he's like, I don't want to talk to Worman. You there with the penis. Oh, no, no, no. Let me read this quote, please. Oh, I, oh. I made it a point Here. to save this quote because... Show me the quote, and I'll read it for you. <laughs> All right. You do build a cop, I'll do bitchy businesswoman. Oh, okay. wow. Is that what they fucking credited that her as? That is what she's credited Jesus as. Christ, 1986. I know, dude. Fuck. All right. I'm coming over to your microphone real quick. All right. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so, referring to a friend whose face is melting, Officer, he's in tremendous pain. Can't you do something? Lady, I can only serve one person at a time. (laughs) What? Because he's a male? Did anybody throw anything? No, it suddenly happened. Suddenly, uh, can uh, <laughs> that's a different guy. Oh shit! There's a businessman who's like, s- s- suddenly, suddenly it happened, and then the bitchy business. God damn! Can I talk now? Why don't you do something for this man and stop following the rules? <laughs> Luigi, what's the difference between you and a tape recorder? Except I can shut you off. You know, you're the type of cop that would use a traffic violation as a ruse to pull me over and rape me. Baby, I ain't sure you got a cock. <laughs> Professional to a fucking T, Bill the Cop is. You fucked that up? He said, baby, I ain't sure you don't got a cock. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'd fuck you. Do you have a cock? <laughs> I need the cock. <laughs> baby, I'm in the man. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great build a cop impression. I love <laughs> Dude, that. I love he that. was constantly, like, if his scale was, like, 1 to 10, he was at 55 the entire time. <laughs> yeah, why was he so mad? I don't fucking know. I think he loved the homeless, and he was just upset they were exploding. <laughs> there are former veterans, and they should be treated better. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he's probably the, the guy with the best intentions in this entire film. Because Young Bun's trying to fuck, Freddy's doing whatever the fuck he wants, and everyone else is just stealing dollars. Every other bum is uh, just some kind of fucking Mad Max wannabe. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. So it cuts back to the junkyard, and this is when we're finally told that Young Bum is Freddy's little brother. I know. We didn't know in the entire it, movie. It actually takes out. quite a long time for them to be like, oh, by the way, those two are related. They probably wrote that in, like, halfway through shooting. Yeah, they probably, like... Man, we gotta make this Freddy character way more sympathetic. Yeah. So he comes up and he starts like shouting racist shit against Asian people. Yeah, I, he like, says gook hey, like eight hundred yeah. times. Yeah, he's like, "What are you doing with that upside down pussy?" <laughs> Which is kind of funny. It's kind of funny because it makes no fucking sense. Who cares if it's upside down, anyways? Well, I mean, if it was upside down, That's wouldn't it be more like possible? Wouldn't but... it be more like a dick? I think it went, like, flipped. 
Oh, like it's like 90 <laughs> it's degrees like, turned? Like maybe the clit's right next to the butthole. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know exactly, but... <laughs> Young it, bun, tickle my <laughs> tickle my clit with your balls. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. A lot of a lot of sexual stuff going on. Mm. Uh, my yeah. My... So Freddie is like finally exposing his true self as a as a piece of shit. Huge piece of. This shit. is this is where I remarked like this movie doesn't do the homeless much favors. <laughs> Uh, uh, do I have that note? Because this is a... Oh, it, yeah. It cuts to, it cuts to Bronson, like... <laughs> just looks over and casually sees her, and then, like, his fucking mud skag is like, I want you to fuck me. Fuck me in my mouth and in my dirty pussy, Bronson. You're so cool. And he's just like, penis, just get erect. Just get erect. No one has to not ejaculate today. Just get erect. <laughs> and then uh, he sees the uh, the upside down pussy and immediately apparently goes to fucking full throttle. And the dirt hag's like, Bronson, you want to see that bear pussy walking around? Apparently yeah. everyone knows she doesn't wear fucking underwear. Did she say that? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And she doesn't wear underwear, so everyone fucking knows she doesn't wear underwear. Yeah, so <laughs> this is where the film explains that Bronson's got a hard on for Wendy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it ties in I guess it ties into that war story to show Yeah, I think he just wants to like hate fuck her or something. I, I think so. Yeah, because they're she's not very some sort of Asian and he fought in Vietnam. Yeah, he's just they're like, all oh. the same. <laughs> oh, you goddamn. I'm gonna make him in the cleanest wood for this one part. Oh, you goddamn zipper heads and you gooks and your slant pussies. God, I love you. Love to kill you with my dick. <laughs> Pretty get much. Off, get on my cock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, this. What we're saying right now does not reflect the way we feel in any way. <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> we're just <laughs> reciting exactly what the movie told us. Yeah, this movie is we're, insane. We're easily Personally, influenced. I love Asian ladies. I don't want to murder them. He's obsessed with Asian ladies. I've been to Japan. You really let me down with that one, dog. I know. Well, that, that's something we get to discuss. On a totally different podcast. We'll find some 80s. Yeah, maybe we'll have like a special... <clears throat> like Japanese horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll I, just have an episode where we just talk about our lives. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. You know, we'll talk about uh, what, what kind of horrors we've been through this past week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the horrors. The horror. Oh, this is where, uh, where Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, gets uh, Young Bum. I like calling him Young Bum. <laughs> young Bum. Young Bum. Uh, that job where she's like, you got paid five whole dollars for 12 hours of backbreaking labor. Aren't you excited? And the sandwich. And he's like, I love you, Wendy Wu, homecoming warrior. You are my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord, help anyone who hurts my queen. <laughs> yeah, so big boy Young Bum. Walks back to his older brother, who is irresponsible and shitty. God, I fucking hate him. And he's Freddy. like, look at my wad. <laughs> my wad of five single dollar bills. Yeah. Freddy freaks out. He's like, what the fuck? Where'd you get that? He's like, I got it from working. Why don't you try it sometime? And then Freddy's like, working? That's for homo faggots. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he does use that word a lot. He homo. says homo and fag. Yeah. A little bit too much. It was the 80s, so... I can't believe the change of this character. The beginning, he's like, oh, you're looking good, Ben. Like, have a great day. Have a great day. He's probably like, ah, stupid kike. <laughs> like, it was so fucking insane how shitty Freddy the is. The way he acts now, it totally seems like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, that's just, like, what we know now about what Freddy's done. <laughs> yeah, so uh, to speed it up just a little bit, um, uh, fuck, I don't know his name. Bert, the black bum. Yes, Bert. He okay. starts. He takes three dollars. He's, he's like, like if he you just give, snatches it out of his fucking hand. Oh, like, oh, if you, you gladly give let me, me have more than half of that. <laughs> if you give me three dollars today, I'll gladly go and shoplift a bunch of shit for you. He didn't say that. He said he was a great shopper and could bring back a chicken dinner. Racist. Yeah. Then there's that scene of him caressing the watermelon, which was 
fucking way too long and uncomfortable. Yes, god damn it. Yeah. But yeah, so Bert goes to his shop. Yeah, just a gloss over this one. He goes to a, a store. He starts shoplifting. He finds a receipt, and he thinks that the receipt's going to let him get away with it, but it's all for He's just shoving everything down his pants, and some old white lady sees him, and she's like, I'm telling. He's like, oh, man, what do you think? This is middle school? Yeah, he's like, oh, what you staring at, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> That's, I, I actually wrote down that quote. Yeah. Old honky bitch. Oh, yeah. He kept old honky bitch. And then she's like, I'm going to get the manager. And the manager is another black guy. He's like, hey, what's up, my brother? Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm free to go now. I'm free to go. It's 1980. We're black. We're totally going to be cool. And the guy's like, I work here. You got to stop stealing. And he's like, you you cracker ass. Let me whip out your pecker. See how white and Asian your dick is. It. It's really weird he said that, like, Asian. He didn't Asian. say that. That is not what he said. He said something like, white Asian. He said, Asian. pull down your pants so we can see the white paint on your ass. I'm not kidding. I'm That's pretty he sure he said something about Asian. <laughs> no, like, this movie dude. just has some weird secret, like, hard on for the Asians. Like, ha, 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 bums are the worst. But you know who is way worse? The Viet Cong. Like, it's, it's so weird and jarring at parts. <laughs> yeah, that, there's just right racism flying around everywhere. Uh, so it's easily confused. Um, so yeah, the, the manager's not dealing with this bullshit. He, he's like, come with me now or I'm getting security. And he's like, Oh fuck, get security. Like I want to report you. You're discriminating. So he's getting all pissed because he got caught. Yeah. Cause he and sucks then, at shoplifting. And then he, yeah. Cause he's, pissed. I'm better at shoplifting than that by yeah, like so many degrees. Yeah. It's not hard to be better than that. Like no. as long as you don't just get, caught shoplifting you're good no, and then he's he like fucking, shoving full chickens and cantaloupes down his pants yeah and then he makes a fucking scene and throws a bunch of shit off the fucking counter like an asshole yeah as he storms out because he's so pissed he's, he's like eh, fine I, i'm never going to shop here again i imagine he wanted to say as customers want to say that shit when they were caught doing something stupid eh, i'm never going to shop here again yeah you're never going to shoplift here again Bert. yeah and he puts a Weirdly, he puts a bag on his head while he's leaving, yeah, and, and then he all breaks the, the fucking glass and just walks out of the window. And then all the food just fa- continues to fall out of his pants. Yeah, like the dinner that he's gathering, those three whole dollars that Young Bum gave him. Yeah, to waste. Man, that was the fucking eighties. He could have went to McDonald's when those th- like burgers were still a fucking nickel and got a shit ton of them. A nickel in the eighties? Yeah, he I don't could- know if that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. I don't know. Anyway, they're cheap. They were cheap. They were cheap. Let's say at most a quarter, so he could have got quite a, a fucking... A quarter in the 80s? Motherfucker, they're barely food. <laughs> well, that's true. Fuck, dude. Chicken sandwich at McDonald's is probably like $2 now. Jesus Christ. We're yeah, living all in high society. Is mayonnaise and breadcrumbs. That's all it is. Sawdust. Breadcrumbs. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. Oh, this is... Uh, I think this is also... Don't eat point. at McDonald's. <laughs> Unless McDonald's... Starts to sponsor us. Then eat at McDonald's. Until you pay us, McDonald's. Don't eat at McDonald's. But if you do, eat at McDonald's. And pay us. But don't do it till they pay us. Yeah. Otherwise, fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad we got that I'm out glad, of the way. I'm glad we've got that out of the way. Product placements. <laughs> <laughs> very, very necessary. Uh, but no, this is, this is where they do the combo of like <laughs> Bronson having his... Dumb fucking wharf like story where he's like, Yeah, I got. Oh, wait, no. <clears throat> there I was walking away. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you skipping ahead to the nightmare? No, 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 not the nightmare. He's telling the war story first, and then it cuts to uh, Billy the cop. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go Bronson ahead. has a stupid war story where everyone's like, not even paying attention. They're just all crazy. And he's just like, There I was walking away. I got free of the camp, and then I stabbed those gooks to death with a knife. Do you know what that's like, to stab a gook to death with a knife? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh. It was not a very interesting story. No. It, it had no point. It was just Who like... Who was he even telling it to? Yeah, like, no one was listening, and then all it was was just him... In the story, they show, he's just walking around stabbing Viet Cong, who aren't even... Like, I'm pretty sure they're just random dudes, not even Viet Cong. Oh, yeah, and he doesn't have a beard, and he looks like a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> he looks older without a beard. It's so oh, weird. Oh, he looks way more out of shape. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I 
best thing you ever did is grow a it, fucking beard and become homeless. Yeah, they make it seem because they're like he's a he was a hitman in Vietnam. He's he was a total special, badass. He's special forces. He's just wearing some fucking tank top with a fanny pack, yeah. <laughs> like fucking sweatpants. He's like, yeah, I was in Marsoc. What of it? Bronson's so cool. I want to grow up and be homeless and kill a bunch of gooks like him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like you're starting to like that word, man. They say it a lot. Repetition. Are you a, a, a child sponge? Child sponge? <laughs> yeah, are you, are you absorbing these words and taking them on as your own? Don't fucking do it. I'll quit. I'll quit doing this. I will quit the podcast because my co-host is racist. Well, don't look at my notes. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, then the cops show up. Oh, to the and, briefing room. Yeah, which is so weird because, you know, fucking so, Bill the cop is just like, What caused him to melt? <laughs> and then the investigator who's eating an Oreo, sushi, a, and salad, a salad, all at the same time, it's just like, He's yeah. got a badass lunch, dude. Yeah, it's weird. You're down on that fucking lunch. <laughs> it's weird because he was starting, he started with dessert. They went to sushi, then a salad. He ate it like the reverse order. You eat that stuff. Yeah. I love the part too where they like unveil the most relaxed cadaver <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> that comes it's after like, Billy the Cop, though. Fuck Billy the Cop. He has no importance to the story. No, Billy the Cop is the shit because Bill the Cop's just like, Billy! The my cop! Because well, then they just show Billy, and he's in a Mickey Mouse wife beater, and he's got guys like, hey, yeah, I'm a cop. Oh, hey, Bill, what's up? You working that melt guy case? Ah, bro, that's sick. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Talk to Brown son. And then Bill's like, Yeah. And they, then. I guess they know each other. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> they probably fought in the war together. Yeah, that was the sexiest skeleton I've ever seen. Yeah, the, 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 and it's weird because the, the mortician is just like, hey, you guys want to see my masterpiece? <laughs> All right, let me just finish these Oreos real quick and show you my piece called Chillaxing Skeleton. And it had a grill. Did you notice it had silver teeth? I did not notice that. That was fucking weird. Like, Are, are you lying? No, it had silver <laughs> teeth. It was so weird. Like, the mortician was like, Damn, this skeleton looks so fucking cool. Bear put silver on that teeth. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the viper did it. <laughs> I'm the... taking it to the player haters ball. <laughs> yeah. Melts all your bones except your teeth. Turns those to silver and rare earth. <laughs> you can't spend them, but your bum friends can. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Buy more viper. So uh at this at this point, um this is when it cuts night. Bronson's having a stupid fucking nightmare about the Viet Cong vampires biting him. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yeah, it's so he's just like sitting down. And they're like, <laughs> they sneak up on him like they're fucking monsters. Yeah. With sharp teeth hissing and shit. And they just bite him on the leg. And then he grabs an, a fucking grenade and throws it. And he's like, ah, Vietnam, I'm a veteran. That war had no purpose. And young bum just wakes up. And he's like, I need earplugs and goes back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. So Poor then, young bum. He's in a terrible environment for a child. Yeah. And this is, this is when Freddie becomes the fucking worst. And I know that because I have the note that says Freddie becomes the fucking worst. Oh, wait. You skipped the part where in uh, Bronson's nightmare, uh, the Wendy. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. She turns up in the dream because I guess he's so highly attracted to her. And she's just there to get raped by Bronson. And she sucks his nipple a little bit. And then that's when he wakes up and he's like, give me the grenade. Yeah. Something's going to die today. Something's exploding. Either it's my semen out of my dick or this grenade. <laughs> yes. Guess it's a grenade. I think it was a wet mare. <laughs> it must be a wet mare. These are my wet mare grenades. I was in Vietnam. It was a pointless war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. So... We're making this new is, progress because this movie has like no consistent plot. I know. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to like keep the pace up with this one because uh, it just dawdles on dumb shit. They it it really that does. Robert it, De Niro knockoff. Yeah, yeah. This is where the shit gets real dark. Yeah, this movie. 
Okay, at this point, the movie had pretty much abandoned being, like, a horror movie, like the trailer said it was going to be. Yeah. It was just, like, some weird drama about bums. So Freddy's out cruising, looking for, I don't even fucking know, booze, I guess. He's just being a fucking rascal, we think. Like, a rascal that doesn't do what he's about to fucking do. He sees a woman (laughs) vomiting. There's a... There's actually another passed out dude in that alley, but they I thought that was the guy she was talking about. Right. Yeah, he walks by this bus boy, goes back into an alley, fucking this chick's just like puking her guts out, and he like saunters up to her. And he, and fun- he makes fun of her vomiting because she's like blowing shit. He's like, ugh, 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 don't be gross. Yeah, he's like laughing at her and shit. Yeah, like you're the hobo. You don't be gross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take fuck? a fucking shower. Wash that stupid dick cheese off your mouth. Yeah. And she's like, Nikki. Yeah, I know. Nikki, where are you? Nikki, Help I'm me. so horny. Yeah. And she like mistakes Freddy for this dude, Nikki, who we've never met. But we <laughs> meet like five fucking seconds later. Yeah. And Freddy just goes along with it. He's like, oh, guess I'm going to get my dick wet. Yeah. She's like, come on, well, let's go fuck in the street. And he's like, no, let's go back to my bum hovel. And she's like, okay, Nikki, you're so fucking quirky. I'm he just, doesn't say that, but that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> so again, she's so drunk that she's mistaking a bum who's like 20 for a dude who looks like Al Pacino, but he's 45 at this point. Yeah, they they walk off together to go to the fucking bum sanctuary, and then Nikki pops out. They walk right past the bus boy. <laughs> the bus boy is fucking awesome. That probably Johnny's favorite character because all he does is talk shit. Fucking, <laughs> the bus boy just talks shit the entire time. It's so awesome. Yeah. So Nikki, this like wannabe mob boss, pops out of the fucking restaurant that I think he owns, right? Yeah, he owns it. Yeah, and uh, and he's like, "Where's my lady? What'd you see?" And the fucking bus boy tells him, "He's like, you're dead, kid. You're dead. Why didn't you stop him?" And he's like, "I didn't even really see him." And the cook's like, "I tattled on you." And <laughs> the bus boy's just like, ah, fuck. And that's, I honestly thought that was going to be the end of it. So then uh, Freddy takes. I really just wish they, like, would have went out, like, skipped over this shit. This part was so fucking bad. <laughs> he's dragging her. At this point, she's almost fucking unconscious, it seems, because he's mostly, like, holding her up. Yeah. It's weird because, like, she's supposed to be, like, blackout fucking drunk because she can't even recognize the guy she's with. Yeah. But at the same time, she's not really slurring. Yeah, she's like, Nikki, I'm going to suck your dick. Wait. Yeah, you got to be Nikki. Either she might be blind and drunk. Maybe she's blind. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, and this is this is where Freddy becomes a super asshole. So as he's dragging her through all these fucking road warrior bums are like, Yeah, they've pussy, got their armor on. <laughs> pussy. Pussy, pussy, uh, yeah. pussy. One Man, of them has a lurking behind pickaxe. all the tires. Just, oh. Did you see that? The guy with the pickaxe, he's just like, uh, the hills have eyes. <laughs> We're not used to seeing people that aren't filthy. Yeah, like they're seriously like West Side Story, like pussy, pussy, pussy. Yeah. And Freddy takes her in, and then Young Bum's like, what are you guys doing, man? What are you doing, Freddy? She's drunk. Don't do that. And Freddy's Don't like, get the this. fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm getting my fucking stinky dick wet. It's the only way it takes a shower. <laughs> and he kicks his fucking brother out. <laughs> and then he uh, proceeds to like pull this chick's clothes off and essentially rapes her. Oh, yeah. He totally rapes her. 100%. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not essentially rape. rape. It, uh, it is 100% rape. She thinks oh. he's a, hu- a totally different dude. He takes advantage because he's a fucking bum and doesn't get any other women's attention. And, like, the whole time that this is going on, there's just a fucking massive group of other bums outside just, like, jerking, <laughs> looking through the peepholes. And then Freddy blows his load way super too fast. fast. She's he, like, you just move. Freddy is a cum chump, bro. Yeah. Move in and out for about 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah. And he's like, Ugh, I blew my fucking load. Yeah, so he rolls over and just falls immediately to sleep on the ground. Yeah, and then the bums go straight up zombie movie at this point, and they grab her. Reaching through the tires, just like, <laughs> And they pull her through, and then like a group of no less than like fucking 10 bums drag her off. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> at the end of the scene, all we know is that she was gang raped. And yep. we'll come back we'll to We'll come her. back to this because there's consequences to this scene. <laughs> yes. Obviously. Thank God there's consequences. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yeah, so uh, my next God. point is... Actually, my next point is essentially the next scene where the fucking... It just immediately jumps to the fucking... The junkyard manager attempting to rape Wendy Wu, homecoming warrior. No, this that was after... Uh... Wiz gets arrested. Oh God! Yeah, yeah that we was... can't can't pass that. That part was dumb. Wiz is just. Oh wait, no. Hey. Except for what? When... <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, you're right. That part is sick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's badass. It really tells you who Bill the Cop really is. Because Wiz champion. gets. Yeah, because Wiz gets his ass thrown into the back of a a police van filled with uh, transsexuals and hookers. And he's just on the ground smelling like shit. Everyone's pissed about it. But there's one hooker in there who likes Wiz, who's like, you got the money. I'll do what you want. Bill doesn't like that shit. <laughs> he fucking turns around. And, yeah. No fucking in the car. <laughs> punches the fucking. He punches the grating off of a cop's car. Like, it's insane. Yeah. He does it easily, too. He's just like. Poof. The safety window protecting yeah. the cops from the criminal. Yeah. Oh, They're just hookers. They're not going to be that strong. Yeah. It's, it's fucking uh, way sicker than we're making it sound. It's oh, fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, you got to see it. You got to see it. Did you notice how many, how much of the uh, the little squad car said fuck whores in it? Yeah. That was kind of funny because it was for prostitutes. Yeah. So that, that was pretty much the scene. Uh, and But it was essential. It was. Bill's character. It was actually fucking legit. Yeah. Yeah, because at that point, you know that Bill is going to go fucking just beat up homeless people. <laughs> so then... Uh, so our theory about him loving the homeless is incorrect. Incorrect. Proven, false, myth, myth busted. Jumped more fucking rape. Yeah. Seriously, the junkyard owner is like on top of Wendy Wu crushing her with his fucking fat. Oh, yeah. His gigantic fupa just like... And he's just like, I'll her. give you a $5 raise. <laughs> To let bonus, me not raise. Oh, yeah, bonus. Yeah, like a one-time payment of $5. Yeah. I'll give you less than a prostitute would make doing this. Yeah. <laughs> what an offer. Wow, what an offer. <laughs> and then she, like, he fakes having a heart attack like a super dick. Yeah, and she's like, She's He's like, like I know I'm unhealthy. I know I'm disgusting. I'm going to fake it. She'll believe me. Yeah. Maybe she'll take pity and be wet. <laughs> Charlie is dying on fucking vape right now uh, I, i'm trying to hold it to the side so we don't have to hear the fucking vaping <laughs> in the microwave vape microwave <laughs> so then this uh, rebel grapefruit ipa highly recommend sam adams sam, drink it sam i l adams he was not a president drink it second cousin to the president the loser who just got drunk and made bomb fucking beard sick <laughs> thank Super you sam sick. adams thank you you a true OG, Sam Adams. You the true American Samuel. Oh, check it out. The the grapefruit is a fucking bald eagle. <laughs> this is so American. <laughs> so like my impression of bald eagle? They apparently sound a little bit more turkeyish than that. So fuck says you, Jay. man. Fuck yeah, it's you. A, it's fuck a good you. falcon. Fuck you. Whatever. You're a dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. Well my nose just says dick. Yeah, are you writing about yourself? Now I'm right about you. <laughs> God, you're a dick. You're a dick. Okay, so, where yeah. were we? Where were he, we? He fakes having a heart attack. Wendy Wu, homecoming warriors, freaked out. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, gotcha, are you wet yet? Oh, and then she bops him. <laughs> yeah, she bops him in the dick. <laughs> no, she bops him on the head oh, with yeah, the she, license plate. Oh, yeah, those aren't going to hurt. He, and he's like, ow, oh, my wife always fucks me. <laughs> and then at that point, you were just like, he has a wife? And he's like, ah, oh, my kids. God, I love them. And it's like, <laughs> and he has kids too? And then his bulldog starts licking his pants where he came Dude, himself. He's jumping around. <laughs> I'm doing jumping it. jumping around. Wendy gets away, okay? And yeah. then he's all pissed walking through the junkyard. And his fucking dog comes up and just starts oh licking his crotch. God. You got to put it into context, oh my bro. Oh, God. It's not like these <laughs> events just went bam, 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 bam. They no, fucking did. No. She got away. He's like, oh, shit. And he's like walking. He's like, well, my fucking wife. And like, yeah, I'm having problems with everyone. And the dog comes up and just starts licking the shit off his pants. Because I guess he blew it. Yeah, he blew it. He fucking blew it. <laughs> One pump chump in the rape department. Yeah, all he, had, all he did was flop on top of her. Yeah, and I, so... Uh, he, he shot. He shot hard. And then he sees the other bum, and he's like, who the fuck are you? And the bum's like, ah, I'm Daywalker. And he's like, get the fuck out of my business. 
in the bottom's like, okay. And then, uh, then he sees like, well, then he sees the fucking corpse of the chick that Freddie and all the other bums raped. Oh yeah. Dead. And he's just like, the- <laughs> he's like, oh, what a day. What a He good rubs day. his fucking hands together like he's a fucking super villain. Like he's Lex Luthor. He's like, Haha, I'm going to get Superman with his gold kryptonite. Dude, not even Lex Luthor would do shit like this. Dude, it's fucked up. Not even the Joker would do something like that. It's so fucking insane. Yeah. So he goes I mean, down there and just drags her off. And at first we're like, well, maybe he's not going to have sex with a corpse. Yeah, because, I mean, the next scene is the cops having the corpse. Yeah, and then that's when uh, that's when the bellhop and the Nwambi fucking gangster are there. And the Bill's like, tell me what you know about your dead girlfriend! <laughs> And then fucking fake gangster Robert De Niro's like, it's a tragedy. I loved her with all my heart. And the bellhop's like, no, you didn't. If you loved her so much, why'd you let her throw up? Also, why are you a crime boss? Also, why do you do a bunch of illegal stuff? Also, why do you have a hitman? And <laughs> yeah. he just keeps tattling on him. Yeah, and it's he, great because they're in a police station. And this is the important part. And and the wannabe gangster is just like, you, be quiet, you. And the cops, you fucking rat. Yeah, he keeps calling fucking wreck. Yeah, you're, you're a fucking man. wreck. You're a dead man. And he makes, you know, uh, an insult, like a fucking comment like, you're a dead man in a cop station in front of two cops. And then Bill's just like, yeah, he's joking. Yeah, he's joking, whatever. And then the guy's like, oh, yeah, but no, here's a bunch of other illegal shit he did. And Bill's like, kid, you might want to reconsider the way you're talking. And then the bellhop's like, yeah, but, you know, you got, like, the witness protection program. The cop's like, I'm not going to put you in that. I gotta go beat up some hobos. <laughs> he just like shook his head, like, yeah. at the kid, like, yeah, like, are you fucking stupid? Yeah, like the kid's actually willing to like testify and like rat out this crime boss, and then the, every cop in the station's like, nope. And then the fucking crime boss is like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, like outright. They're like, you're fucking dead. I'm going to kill you. And there's another cop five feet away that's like, eh, it doesn't, meh, not my beat. Yeah, the scene ends with the kid going, like, my mother's terrified every night I come home from working for you. And he's like, well, your mother's going to need a black dress now. Because I'm going to fucking kill you. And then it just shows his, like, worried face, like, oh, shit, maybe he's serious. Yep. And then it, (laughs) this is great, because this this is the part where all of a sudden, like, the fucking hitman just shows up, like, I'm here to assassinate the hobo who done took my boss's girlfriend and had sex with her. Dude, we skipped an essential part. Let's backtrack for just one second. So, Freddy shows back up at the fucking bum park. Yeah. And Bronson sees him, gets pissed. He's like, where's my fucking money? Oh, and, yeah. like, tackles him to the ground. He's That's got why him, like, I pinned have and shit. Yeah, he's got him pinned, and he's just like, where's my fucking money? He's about to kill him. He's got, got his bone knife, like, at his face. And then all of a sudden, there's just a stream of liquid <laughs> in the tip of a dick <laughs> next to his head. Yeah, and, it's, <laughs> and then some other brothers is like, Fuck, I like peeing through this hole. Yeah, he's just taking a like a casual piss through this hole, and that's the end of the scene. And Freddy gets away <laughs> and it never Bron- explains what happens. Yeah, Bronze is just kind of like, I'll let you walk away for this one. Never say anything and walk away. <laughs> I can't be mad anymore. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to be mad. <laughs> I don't know. I do not have the anger to stab you. Just yeah. walk away. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's when the uh, you I I was wondering. I'm like, eh, I know there's a lot of people getting peed on in these next couple of parts. Yeah, you're hightailing it, man. I am. I am. Uh, my you took bad. very few notes. I did. I took way less notes than Charlie did. Lazy fuck. I was taking in the cinema. I do mine in MLA format. I put my name at the top, the date. <laughs> you know, I'm turning this shit in at the end of the year. I, he does turn them in to me, and I do grade his his assignments. I do much better than Johnny. I do, and give he's him, the one doing the great. I I do give him a better score than I get. <laughs> it's only fair. I'm very impartial. So <laughs> back to the hitman. Yeah, the hitman who's one fucking of the most terrible. excellent scenes in the film. So Freddy's peeing at a fucking in the fucking bathroom of this joint that they never once mentioned that they have this huge bathroom. Yeah, it's the junkyard. Yeah, but they they never mentioned this room ever again. Oh, yeah. The dude's whacking it in there, too. Yeah, it's so weird. But, yeah, so Freddy's peeing, and then the hitman comes up and, like, whips out his dick, and he does this super drawn-out motion, like, his dick is fucking down to his feet. And he, like, looks over at Freddy's dick. He's like, hey, kid, nice. Can you, uh, 
do two things at once and like winks almost at him. Like Freddie's like, oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get paid to to fuck right now. I'm gonna get paid to suck this guy's dick. Hell yeah! He's like, you should pray because I'm about to kill you with a gun right now. It's so lazy. Like the hitman's like, I'm gonna kill you with this gun I'm about to draw. Can you piss and pray at the same time? Yeah, but hold hold on. I I actually can't do two things. I gotta finish peeing to put my penis away to then get (laughs) my gun. So please be a good sport and continue to pray. All right, there we go. Got my gun. And then Freddy just bops him on the cock and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird because, you know, his dick's not even out. So it's like, were you even peeing or were you just standing next well, to his dick his... was out still. Ah. Yeah, oh, he was man. pissing. They didn't show it. They didn't show it. It's not real if they don't show it. They showed it. a dick five fucking seconds earlier. They showed, like, the very tip of a dick. Yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> Come on, man. But, yeah, so Freddy leaves and then... Fucking Bill the cops like, what are you doing peeing in the bathroom? <laughs> it was so weird. He was so angry at Freddy for just pissing in the bathroom. And the hitman comes out. And Bill's just like, <sighs> hey, you got a permit for that? Yeah, he did ask that very nice. That was probably the calmest he's yeah. ever been. In the, and the then, well, time. he's even calm because the hitman's like casually like. Puts the gun towards Bill's face and then grabs his wrist. Yeah, he like grimaces a little bit and he's like, you know what? I could just shoot you, cop. And then Bill's like, (sighs) trying to be a less angry man. How about you let me die in combat instead of a gunshot wound? And the hit, fuck it, why not? Yeah, the hit is just like, like literally, he's just like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, you're right. I'll beat you up instead of shooting you right now. Might as well risk my life. Yeah, I mean, the gun I have is totally fucking fake anyway, so let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, so enter badass hand-to-hand combat scene. So fucking sick. Highlight, slow headbutt, slow knee, oh, slow yeah. throw. Yeah, the action in this movie is fucking terrible. It's, it's not <laughs> good at all. But the coup de gras that Bill does... Is he beats the fucking hitman up, drags him to the urinal, and drops him. And I'm like, oh shit, Bill's gonna either, you know, curb stomp this guy or he's, or gonna, he's gonna piss on him. Yeah. And then Bill, <laughs> it focuses on his face. And we're like, oh fuck, what's he about to do? And he like leans over and looks down at him, veins bulging in every part of his body, and just jams a finger down his fucking throat and blows chunks on him. <laughs> oh god, the puke was so fucking gross. It, was it looked so, like it looked like, like red, it was real puke. <laughs> dude, it looked like the chunkiest chili I've ever seen. And he's just like toppling over this guy's face. And then it's not bad enough that he got his ass whooped, but he got puked on by a cop, too. Coup de gras. And then a fucking hobo who was jerking it in the fucking bathroom stall just comes out and is like, oh man, that's gross. Come on, have some respect for this area. <laughs> Semen, okay. Vomit, gross. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with jacking in a fucking bathroom stall, Johnny. That's <laughs> what they're for. Ed- Why else <laughs> would it be a seat? For pooping. Anyway, <laughs> this is when Bill leaves hey, and then and then fucking job of the hut construction yard owner is just like, hey, so you, what, what was that guy's problem? Bill's like, I have a bad case of bulimia. And then the fat guy's just like, so by any chance, could you, uh, could you see whose semen was who inside that dead girl? And Bill's- well, Bill first says there were layers of semen in this chick. He was like, he was like, I found like a fucking bucket of it. <laughs> found a bucket of semen in this chick. This is this is when we find out the fat guy is a necrophile and had sex with a fucking corpse and got uh, he's so fucking, disgusting, he's so fucking he, disgusting. He, he got like crabs or something from it. Syphilis. Dude. Syph- oh yeah, yeah. He's like the that thir- is a life taking STD. <laughs> yeah, and he's just scratching under his fucking fat. The second piece like of shit the second pooper. Bill's like. Your guy from the last had syphilis. The fucking fat guy's like, oh shit, I am the last. Oh boy, bear scratch my penis. If his dick's up there, that's crazy, man, because his fat was hanging down. His big ass fupa, dude, he's just like scratching his fu- underbelly, dude. He's probably not even, he's probably above his belly buttons. <laughs> it's fucking, ugh, it was weird. I hate that guy, dude. But, best part, best part. Bill, the cop's not fucking done. This shit's personal now, so he goes to Bumtown. Back to Bumtown to see the big man. 
So he gets there and he draws his gun because he hears a noise like a bear fucking another smaller bear. Under a blanket on top of a throne. Made of tires and car parts. Yes, who could it be? Who could it be? He strolls up, casually throws back, and all of a sudden it's the Crack trash whore. <laughs> <laughs> trash whore. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> I'll suck your dick for a nickel. And he's like, Ah, oh, God. And then at that point, Bronson just fucking stabs him with his bow knife and it breaks in his back. In his back. And he's just like, ooh, ow. Now I'm fighting mad again, son. Insert veins everywhere. So Bill immediately gets into the greatest bum fight of all time. Oh, I, yeah. I, he, he totally picks up that crack whore and just throws her against the <laughs> fucking store. I thought he was going to break her back. Like he's I, gonna, I was <laughs> really hoping he was going to. Just fucking snap her like a twig. She's a skeleton. <laughs> it, she was a disgusting human being. Most people in this in this film were. Yeah. They casted it really well. I will give them that. Yeah, he just throws her like she's a piece of paper against a fucking <laughs> metal shed. It and she's great. like, and then passes out. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, they fight for a while. and it's Oh, there was a sick roundhouse in that fight. Oh, my God. Bronson can barely lift his fucking Bron- leg. Bronson's like, yeah, 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 yeah. and it, like kicked it like fucking half a mile a year. Yeah. It, <laughs> the slowest fight. Like, they're yeah, barely it, even moving at each other. I would other. assume it was in slow motion, but it obviously wasn't. No, they they just didn't want to hurt each other, you know? Yeah. But, uh, so they get into a vicious choke contest. Yeah, and Bill the Cop, unfortunately, checks out. And then gets peed on. <laughs> God damn it. Bronson <laughs> would have to piss on him. Yeah. He Bron- chokes him to death and then pisses on him. And he's laughing. He's like, ha, 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 I was in Vietnam. Yeah. I'm glad I have the excuse of Vietnam to do all this fucked up shit. <laughs> I just kill whoever I want. Vietnam. Yeah. That sucked. Yeah. And I, then, thought, <laughs> I thought Bill was going to make it. This next scene is like one of my favorite deaths in the film. Oh, the fat guy? Fat bum. Yeah. No name fat bum. No name fat bum just fucking Wait. farts and explodes. <laughs> yeah, we went over this already earlier, but uh, so we'll skim through this quite a bit. Uh, Freddy gets his hands on another bottle of Viper. Oh, he's about to drink this shit. The, the shop owner real quick. Freddy's like, you want to know what? And shop owner just quickly is like, no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, fuck. That the, shit line, was... the line. <laughs> he comes in. Give me a bottle of booze. Here's my dollar. Suck my dick. <laughs> Yeah, and the shopkeep gives him, like, the ball of booze. And then Freddy seriously is like, do you want to know something? And the shopkeep's just like, nope. Nope. Don't want to interact with you anymore. Get out of my store. Yeah, he's like, fuck off. Yeah, leave. I've dealt with, like, 50 of you people today. Yeah. I'm tired of it. Get the fuck out. And so he fucks off. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the fat guy dri- the fat guy has his own ball of viper. We're at this point, There's we're like, like a divider between them too. Like, yeah, what so is that? It was like a fucking tower of fucking washing machines or something. <laughs> yeah, it was really like weird. Freddy's sitting on one side, fat guy drinking Viper is on the other side. They both have Viper. Fat guy drinks it first, inflates like a fucking balloon, and starts farting and shit. So Freddy has to run over and be like, "Who's farting? I'm trying to enjoy a little fucking dare to dog." Yep, and then the fat guy is like, oh, "I'm gonna blow." And Freddie <laughs> does, does he talk that entire time? I don't think he says. No, that. he doesn't say that. that would be but so Freddie, but you remember Freddie's like, "Oh I shit!" Go, and like, I'm gonna blow. He like jumps away from the explosion like it's a fucking cliche. Oh yeah, it was great. That was fucking Just hilarious. A bunch of meat and fucking eighties fly out of this guy. <laughs> 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 Red neon and cocaine just came flying out of this dude. How the fuck did he afford cocaine? Uh, he's just it, born in the yeah, 80s. Yeah, born in the 80s, man. It's in the blood. Yeah. Yeah, so then Freddy gets back and he has like a fight with his, with Young Bum. He's like, I don't need your shit. Leave. And Young Bum's like, yeah. you're just like dad. That's when he's like, I have a new goal. It's the best goal I've ever had in my life. And it's to get you away from me. God, I fucking hate Freddy. What a dick. Yeah, so, you he's know. He's supposed to be taking care of his little brother. All he does is get he drunk like, and rape people. That he obviously, like, forced to run away from home. 
Yeah, he had to have. Yeah, because, like, the young bum doesn't even have any fucking real memories of his dad, apparently, but... Yeah, he's, like, trying to work and shit, too. He's, like, trying to get his shit together, and the older brother is just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna rape and steal and just, you know, be a fucking... It's like a bum version of fucking chuds. <laughs> Freddy the chud. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, the next scene would be, like, uh, Wendy Wu homecoming warriors consoling young bum. And he's just, like, staring at her not wearing panties in her skirt. Just like, you're you're jumping ahead again, bro. Dude. You're fucking jumping ahead because again, Because a bro. lot of this shit wasn't super important. No, what, What's dude? the next fucking scene? Freddy and Wiz? That shit wasn't. It's a. Freddy's dude, a douche. It, dude, Freddy's a douche, but That's Wiz is an scene. old douche and Bert fucking comes in to save the day and gets hit in the head with a lead pipe. I'm pretty sure he died because they don't show Bert in the rest of the movie. No, he talked before they left. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah he oh. was like, pick me up a pint when you get back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but anyways, uh, yeah, so Freddy's walking. He does call Wiz a after- homo. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was so funny. So <laughs> after the, f- after the hey, fat bum. fucking homo, suck on this. <laughs> so after the fat bum explodes, like Freddy's like, oh shit, this stuff makes you explode on contact. So he devises his plan to take out Wiz, his arch nemesis, the old bum. <laughs> So dumb. Yeah. So he's walking by. He's like, oh, Wiz is such a piece of shit. Fuck that guy. Like, pretending like he doesn't even see him. Wiz is like, what the fuck did you say about me? <laughs> honk, honk. And I fucking tackles him. Yeah, he tackles him, starts whooping his ass, steals the fucking Viper from him. Bert comes up, saves him from Wiz, gets his Viper back, gives it to him. Like, <laughs> Freddy the whole time is like, no, give him the bottle. Give him the bottle. I, I want to kill him. I want to kill him. I got a plan. The whole time, fucking Wiz is grabbing a pipe, whacks Bert in the head, he fucking drops, he gets a viper, and this was the funniest shit in the entire movie. He, he takes a sip of the viper, he starts like melting and shit, <laughs> and Freddy gets up and he's like, Wiz, you homo! <laughs> While he's dying. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, like throwing in punches to him while he's <laughs> melting and shit. It's like, he's like, damn, dude, you really suck. Freddy, it's actually really kind of funny when you think about it. Like, oh, wait, you silly homo, and you're homo melting. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at you. You look like a homo. <laughs> Stupid fucking queen. <laughs> yeah, so that was, that was a pretty, like, graphic death. Uh, Wiz melting into a face yeah. against the wall. And he's just like, <laughs> and skips away like a little scamp. <laughs> fucking hate Freddy. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, yeah. What else is, did you skip over, you son of a bitch? Oh, you tell me. You take the worst notes. I took way better notes than the other movies. I don't remember you skipping ahead like this. God damn. Yeah, that's why I said I took better notes. Oh, also, when fucking Wiz was coming at him after he hit him in the head, he was like, he was like, no, no, don't, don't kill me, kill Bert. Oh, He's yeah. black. No, no one, one will can. give a shit. No one will give a shit if you kill him. It's like, damn, you had to throw that in. Yeah, That's Freddy. That's fucked up. I, the whole, like... That dude just saved you. After the first, like, 20 minutes, the whole movie is just Freddy being a fucking tool. Yeah. Just the worst human being you can imagine. Yeah. So, Wiz is dead. Thank God. Fuck that guy. Yeah. He was a homo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shop owner drinks it. Yep. Well, he drank it like off can. He just comes out of his yeah, shop like he's melting. Just, it's like, no, why? Why did you have to try the dollar drink that you knew? Yeah, was you're like not, ninety years old. Yeah, he was like, this shit's sixty five years old. Ah, fuck it, I'll drink it. Yeah. I gambled my wife. Yeah, that wasn't him. I know. God damn it, Johnny. No, I'm saying it like he just gambled his wife for like the old Jewish bum in the beginning. Oh, like he just it lost it, it was all. A so fucking had- jo- it was a fucking joke. <laughs> so he had to drink the Viper. Yeah. Start he, leaking. Has become, he has become bum. Yeah, so shop owner just turns into tomato sauce. He comes out like Yeah, his shitting. is actually like the worst. It was, it was weird, dude. Yeah, it was just red. Yeah, he was like red paint leaking out of his sleeves and his pant legs. Do you remember like when they're trying to cut away, he's just crawling away from his legs? Yeah. And then Freddy like runs into him. He's like, oh, fuck. And he's like, don't spray on me. Don't spray on me. And he's getting, getting sprayed. And then he like hops Famous on Famous last words from a porno. Yeah, he hops on a car and gets away. And then the shop owner, like while he's dying, he's just, you just see him. He's just like, bye. 
<laughs> like waves at him. He's all sad. <laughs> you left me here to die. Poor guy. Feel bad for him. All he was trying to do was make a living. Being, <laughs> being kind of a racist turd as well. But yeah, he's a little bit of a dickhole, but he was the only dickhole customer. Yeah. So my next note after that, tell me if I'm jumping ahead. Okay. Crackhead drinks Viper. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, hers was f- hers was actually like one of the grosser. Yeah, hers was gnarly. Like Bronson, they the they- Bronson's a they bury the fuck of Bill the cop. Yeah, and he, for some reason he had a bottle of Viper. Yeah, on? everyone has a bottle of fucking shit on them, even though only two people ever go in the movie to buy the shit. Yeah, uh, he must have had it as like evidence or some shit. Something so the bums get his gun and his Viper, so they give it to Bronson. He's about to drink that shit. He's like, oh, I've had a, a long day of just doing what I have to do. Yeah, of murdering a cop and, you know, bringing a bunch of attention to the fact that I murdered a cop. Yeah. And then the fucking <laughs> crack horse like, you never share any with me. You're such a fucking dick. Oh, I got mud in my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she was like seriously fucking wet at that point. It was insane. And she like just snatched it from him. And of course, to say, I don't even think she gets like the fucking ball to her lips, dude. I think she just like smells and all of a sudden her tits start melting off. Dude, I would think like a fucking Vietnam War hitman assassin, highly trained dude like Bronson would not let some crackhead snatch a bottle out of his hand. Yeah. Especially because he's like, you keep defiling me in front of all my crew. Oh, I got, he was already wasted. Yeah, he was pretty <laughs> fucking drunk. <laughs> Stop defiling me. That's so fucking funny. You don't defile me in front of all my crew. <laughs> so she takes the smallest of baby sips. And starts melting. Her tits <laughs> melt. Her tits melt off. She's like pulling down her bra and her tits are just like oozing off her body and she's like puts her hands inside of her chest and she's like Ugh. yeah it was like is I, it cold out here yeah. <laughs> is it cold out here or is it just me yeah. uh, then, uh, uh, i'm so hey, you want a titty <laughs> fuck me bronson Dude, the whole time bronson's like getting mad at her i know he's like getting pissed he's like why the fuck are you melting why are you defiling me <laughs> what is happening why are you doing this to me you ruined Sharon. my life, Trisha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that dead. was the end of Crack Whore. Yeah. Her guts were hanging out. It was kind of tight. Yeah, it was sick. That was probably like one of the nastiest looking deaths. Yeah. Because she, she like fell back against like a trash can or something. Yeah, and like got split over. in half. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Where's fucking Schnitzler now? There's another fucking woman corpse. For I was going to say, there are a lot of dead people in this dude's junkyard. <laughs> yeah. Just how he likes it, dude. Yeah, I That's guess. the only way he gets it. Oh, man, so many holes. <laughs> yeah. Back to what you were saying earlier. Yeah. With Young Bum. Yeah, Young you Bum. You skipped quite ahead. I don't know how you didn't take any of those notes about all those deaths we just went over. Yeah, they weren't that important. They were God tight, but not that damn important. damn you, John. <laughs> <laughs> the few deaths in this movie are worth noting, because they're <laughs> fucking awesome. Uh, I do actually have notes for the next couple of deaths. You just wanted to jump straight to the pussy touch. I did. Which is where I was at going to say, is Young Bum seriously just like mad dogging this Asian chick's pussy, just like... <laughs> She's like telling him a serious story about. I don't even know what the story was because I was fucking looking at her pussy too. <laughs> it keep, yeah, the camera keeps going down. You could visibly see she's not wearing underwear. Yeah, and then he's just kind of like shush and like puts his fucking hand, like he puts his hand on her inner thigh and like his finger like right on her pussy, and then she just kind of like looks really like embarrassed, like young bum, why? And then, like, it cuts to fucking Freddy, like, wandering in the fucking junkyard for a second. But it's not very important. Because then it just cuts to, like, them going into, like, the building. Yeah. And I'm like, is she going to, like, lecture him? Or... Uh, you have yeah, to learn about a... sexual consent. I almost got raped yesterday. Yeah. And Young Bum is, like, substantially younger than her. Yeah. yeah I think he's, like, 15. Yeah. Well, doesn't matter. Because she just whips out her tits, does a little twirl... And then uh, she starts taking his shirt. Oh, she does take his shirt off. And like, yeah, we've got an hour before the guys get back. I'm going to hit you with my old lady pussy. You're going <laughs> to like it like that. 
God, dude, they hit like every level of fucked up in this movie. It's crazy. Yeah, it's fucking insane for a movie to be so goddamn vile. Yeah. <laughs> this is what my note says. Asian lady gets pussy touch, fucks a child, Bronson gets pissed. Dude, Bronson comes busting in like a fucking Kool-Aid man for no reason. Angry as shit, like, my girlfriend melted. Why didn't you walk away? <laughs> no one had to die. Why didn't you walk away? Yeah, but he's got, like, those wet dreams about Wendy. Yeah, so he's like, but then he's like, <laughs> Young Bomb? <laughs> young Bomb getting some? <laughs> and then he goes on a little fucking, like, chase of Young Bomb. And he stabs a fucking chronic masturbator bum. Yeah, he stabs him in the neck with bone knife. Yeah. Just for being, just for existing. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, ah, masturbation's a sin. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved him if he said that, but he didn't. I guess it was implied. It's know, implied. He wasn't even in that scene where he was masturbating. <laughs> you better repent in the name of our Father God. Yeah. Can you multitask? You better pray while I stab you in the neck. Um. Yeah. So the chase scene, blah blah blah. Hey, I was gonna say you. You can. I'm gonna drink a beer. You can cover the chase scene because it's not fucking interesting. No, it's not great. It's just fucking young bum running around this like labyrinth of shit. shit and the fucking yeah labyrinth of shit. They're running around. Oh God, where are we going? And he, you know, Bronze is coming in hot and fucking pins him for a second, but young bum kicks something on a shelf and it swings a lower thing into his nutsack and Bronze is like, "Oh my nigga balls!" <laughs> so <laughs> I gave him some lead. So he runs. He runs and he runs. And then Freddy shows up and has one redeeming line in the whole fucking movie. Yeah. He's got a bottle of Viper. And he's just like, hey, pick on somebody half your size. And throws a bottle of Viper at him. Yeah. <laughs> Bronson's gigantic. Ju Bronson is fucking large and in charge. Yeah. The Viper hits him in the face and melts. He's like, my face. What was that? Walk away. <laughs> what the fuck did you just throw at me? It, it like immediately just starts melting his fucking face. Yeah, but then it just stops. And he's, he's my like, my face, the only thing I have. <laughs> my bone knives in my face. Yeah. So yeah, he throws the bottle of Viper at him. He gets even more mad. They run out. Freddie and Bronson are having this wicked sick fight scene where uh, it's pretty much just Bronson picking him up over his head while Freddie's like swinging at him from like the air. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, you and know. then this is where Young Bum gets fucking badass. Young Bum has an air caster, aims it through a crack in some tires, takes a rock that was just laying there. I guess. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Slams the top off. At this point. <laughs> The compressed air shoots towards Bronson. Bronson's now holding a fucking puppet that's supposed to represent Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> the oh, so the compressed air canister takes out Bronson's entire fucking chest and head. Yeah. And it's 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 so hard to describe. You actually have to see this scene, but it's fucking oh, it's great. awesome. The air canister literally puts a hole in his chest while simulta simultaneously taking off his head. Yeah. And it goes in the slow motion where you can see, like, the fucking hose that they're piping all the water in. It's water first, and they're like, oh, shit, red food dye. Get that in there. Yeah, and so then blood, like, it cuts away for a second. It goes back. There's a little blood now. And then you just see the prop head fall in the back. Like, it was actually launched into the air. And then, even better, is that Bronson's head still alive is looking around. And Wendy Wu, the homecoming warrior, jumps over him. And he gets, like, a panty shot, like, an upskirt he's up. He's still alive, somehow. Yeah, he's he, just, like, like his head's just sitting there, like, shittily, animatronically moving. Yeah, he's like, it's like oh, that scene from Alien, but way worse. Would you look at that? Yeah, he, like, starts to smile. And then his eyes just roll in his head. He's like, Ugh. yeah. And then she jumps over him. He gets like the. He finally sees her pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all he ever wanted. She goes over. She like hugs on to uh, Young Bum, and then it just goes straight trash. That's dun, it. Dun, just and, fucking ends. And then the credits are. Uh, oh, the credits were sick though. The credits are the bellhop. It fucking uh, brings them back, dude. I did not expect. I that. didn't expect it either. The uh, bellhops awesome. are uh, like being tied up by the fucking mobster. Nikki. Mob Nikki. Nikki's about to kill him. He's like, what the fuck is this shit? You got booze on him? What the fuck is this shit? If this was a piece, we could have been dead. Yeah. And the whole time he's just like talking all his lame mobster shit. Like, yeah. you fucking rat. 
you're gonna die. Your mother's gonna need a black dress and we'll kill your ass. Yeah, and the bellhop's still just talking all this fucking shit. It's hilarious. <laughs> he doesn't let down. He doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I'm gonna die. I might as well talk a bunch of shit. <laughs> and then, uh... <laughs> And then so Nikki drinks it off panel, and it's like, yeah, Ooh. how did the ki- why did the kid buy Viper? I don't fucking know. They don't explain he's it. He's the only one not a bum that gets his hands on Viper. Yeah, he's just like, eh, I don't know. Like, he acts and he talks like he knew that that's what was going to happen. Maybe he did. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, Shit, so. That was a good plan if, uh, if that's the case. I guess. But yeah, Nikki starts exploding. The credits roll. Fucking greatest song of all time plays over that. I just want to say that it was really sick because uh, Nikki dies off screen, like melting and shit. You just hear all the noises the whole time. He's like, oh, where my balls go? Oh, you fucking piece of shit. I'm going to kill you, you fucking rat. And the Turn bellhop the is still so talking your heart. shit. Yeah. He's like, looks like I'm the mob boss now. <laughs> yeah. Like, Give me that ring before it falls off the uh, stairs. Like, yeah. that shit was so fucking funny. <laughs> he's like, how am I going to kiss your prick? It's falling, sliding right down the stairs. <laughs> but yeah. That was great. The actual credits roll. They play a great song. It ends now for this part of the podcast. What you've been waiting for? We're going to do the uh, the ratings on Street Trash. Yes, uh, this time I'll pick the the rating uh, system. Okay, I've done the first three. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, and yours are always ridiculous. This one's out of ten, motherfucker. We're not doing that nine shit. Okay, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Out All of right. ten, what? So we're going to do out of 10... Viper? Fuck no, Johnny. Get out of here. <laughs> Dude. No, we're going to do it out of 10 uh, Nicky Dicks. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Charlie's shitting himself right now. He drank Viper. <laughs> All right. Who's going to go first then? And uh, what are the categories? You go first since I created the rating system for this one. Okay. So we'll do it as uh, as we normally do. We'll do horror. I'll do the horror value, entertainment value, and for the third one on this one, gross out value. I think that's that's a fair representation for this movie. So out of ten, uh, Nikki Dicks for entertainment value. This shit gets a fucking eight. It's entertaining as balls. For the uh, horror value. Zero. We give a lot of zero ratings here. It is what it is. Not very many things scare us. I just want to be scared. We'll just have to do it at some point and give it like a <laughs> half a star or something. Yeah. Something needs to get like more than a zero. Yeah. For real. So, yeah. Um, and then at, at a gross out value, surprisingly, the effects are really good. And the part when uh, Trash Whore is, like, ripping into her tits was fucking disgusting. I'd actually give that a 6 out of 10. Nice. Like, I, like if it went longer than that, I actually would have probably had to look away. Dude, I think this is, uh, at least for you right now, this is the highest rated film we've watched so far. For me, this is the highest rated film, highest rated film we've watched. Yeah. So street trash, not so much trash, according to Johnny. No. Uh, it's very enjoyable. I recommend. Uh, I recommend watching it as soon as you can. It's it's a fucking good time. Have a couple of beers and yeah, just get in on that neon hobo vomit. Right on, dude. All right. So for me, all right. Entertainment first, mm-hmm. dude. This movie was fucking hilarious. <laughs> There's no comedy fun. rating in this one, so I'm gonna include it with entertainment. But honestly, <laughs> this shit was wild. Uh, a lot of fucked up shit in this movie, but uh, overall, I had a great time watching it. Uh, I will give it an eight as well. Yeah, it's it's a solid ass movie. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow through horror because there was nothing fucking. Well, oh no, no, hang on, let me take that back. God damn it, those rape scenes. Those that, were... that was scary, dude. That fucking scene with the chick getting like gang raped by the bums. I actually threw that more into like the gross out value. I, I think it qualifies for both, dude. So I will give it like a one on for horror. horror. Yeah, because okay. that, that part actually really did make me uncomfortable. It's it's very like my actual notes say that this movie is very uncomfortable. Yeah. And it's for that scene. Yeah, dude. It's like it's scary to think about anyone I know like 
potentially oh, yeah, no, being put like, in that situation. It, it's like, God damn. If we put this in real life terms, no, that's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying in the terms of the uh, of this movie itself, it's not as truly terrifying as other horror things. But no, right. like in real life, that would be one of the scariest things in the world. Yeah. I give it a one for that one scene alone. Okay. And then for gross out, uh, the, the special effects were awesome. And like there's a lot of gross shit in this movie. So I would give it a solid six. Yeah. Yeah. Solid All right. Six. So you, you, you again, street trash, not trash. No. I think uh, for me, it's the highest rated film we've done so far as well. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 very entertaining. Like I would actually recommend this to people. Not even as just like, hey, watch this stupid fucking movie. It's like, hey, watch this movie. It's gonna be pre- it's gonna be a pretty fun time. Yeah, if you have a significant other though that's like sensitive uh, about uh, like, about the whole, yeah, you know the dark shit that's in this film, uh, watch it alone. Watch you it know, alone. Pull your dick you out and masturbate. Yeah, you know, just be like that hobo. Just don't get stabbed in the throat. And don't get caught. Mousetrap. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> God. So, you know, we got a special... We got a special closing for this then, Charlie? Yeah, so, uh... We're gonna play you a special treat that they gave us at the end of this film, with which is the actor who played Nikki singing a classic for you. I hope you enjoy... I'm Charles War. I'm John Kangro. And this is Grave Mistakes in Cinema. Turn around, you prick, you! Don't I'll bite your heart! <laughs> or do you call <laughs> me Mr. Duran? And listen to everything I say. Listen, because I am the man. And we do everything my way If you didn't know it before I'm sure you're gonna know it now You better hear what I say We do things my way, you'll wreck you my ring. Hey, do the right thing. Shut your face, you little scumbag. Listen good. I'll tell you one thing, kid. You're gonna be sleeping with the fish, you little fuck. And this ain't no gag. So big mouth, what else could go wrong? Like you, do you believe me now when I say we do things my way? <laughs> and now the last laugh is on you, my friend, so you can stop the bullshit, cause this is the end, so give me a drink. Of your bruise. Let's toast to your hasty departure, cuz. <laughs> oh, what's this? I'm starting to ooze. You little creep. What's this fucking shit? What are you trying to start here? Your face. I'm gonna reshape. I'm gonna eat your fucking eyeballs like grapes. Oh God, oh, oh, oh Christ. Till this fucking day, we did things 